I think the 3D print community has been really active. You know, all the people who have 3D printers, like you can get a 3D printer for $500, $1,000, but they call them the maker community. Yeah, and cool. these, these maker communities have been amazing in terms of turn, turning out emergency supplies like face oh, shields and, cool. and other things. Yeah, we and so I think you're about them here. That's very interesting. So they're working together to produce stuff. Yes. So I think what you're seeing is like these like maker communities, you know, again, this decentralized model, right? There's no central authority saying you, everybody who has a, 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 a 3D printer needs to make this, yeah. but you have people using Reddit and other forms of organization to find each other, find the needs and, you know, kind of step up and fill the void. And so I think if you go uh, on social media, you can just see thousands of examples every day of Americans helping other Americans, not because they're told to by some government, not because, you know, uh, someone with authority told them to, but because they've identified a need, they understand that they have the ability to do something to help fill that need and they want to help and they're stepping into that. So I also see this in San Francisco, like numerous friends all involved in efforts to source uh, protective equipment and get it to uh, medical uh, personnel that need it. Um, entrepreneurs turning their skills. There was this recent article that I was reading about these two uh, entrepreneurs who were working on a logistics setup, who transitioned their logistics expertise into sourcing N95 masks for the US. And so because they knew a lot of people who had warehouses and other people who worked in shipping, they were able to kind of jump right into this and really make a difference. So I think you're also seeing this as well. They do